Good morning and welcome to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I'm your pharmacist, Paul White. We're very glad you joined us. Before we begin, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Altman Health System. Today, Brad and I are broadcasting from our administrative offices, and our guest is Mike Novelli, sales and client retention strategist with AltCare. Good morning and welcome to the show. We'd like to remind our listeners that today's program is also available on our podcast, which can be downloaded from the app, from the app store on your mobile phone. Look for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy, and you can listen to any of our programs anytime. Okay, Medicare's open enrollment period is from October 15th to December 7th each year. During this time, Medicare members can review plans and make changes to their coverage for the following year. Today, we're going to talk and answer all things Medicare for Medicare Advantage plans and Medicare plans. So welcome, Mike, and let us know how things are going today. Thank you, okay. Brad. It's great to be with you and Paul today as we start um, AEP, which is the annual election period, as you mentioned, that begins on October 15th and ends on December 7th every year. I always laugh about that day of infamy day, December 7th. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's a correlation between yeah, Medicare yeah. and the day of infamy, but uh, that's what rolls on December 7th. <laughs> that ends the AEP period. Wow. Good morning, Mike. Please tell us about yourself and your role with AltCare. Okay, um, I've been with AltCare now for over 20 years, hard to believe. Um, mm -hmm. I've had a pretty wide exposure to all parts of the insurance world, um, whether it's a third-party administrator for self-funded health plans, managing our commercial sales, and uh, being heavily involved for the last 15 years in our Medicare space. I have a great team of sales staff that work with our members that come in to talk about Medicare or prospective members. So we, we just have a great team and they work well together and we really believe in serving our community. And that's what our goal is to help our seniors make the best decision. Um, I, I sometimes tell people we, do the miracle on 34th Street approach to sales, because if our plan isn't right for you, we're going to send you someplace else. Interesting. So during this time of the year, we hear a lot about AEP. What is AEP when it comes to Medicare plans? Well, it, it really boils down to every year at the end of September, every Medicare beneficiary that is on a Medicare Advantage plan receives a notice of change, annual notice of change. And at that time, they're telling them that you need to look during the AEP period from October 15th to December 7th at your plan and make sure that your plan still fits for you because we always have changes to our plans. And uh, prime time is not unique in that. Every plan makes changes for the coming year. So it's important that members look at their plan, determine whether or not they think those changes are negative or positive, and move on from there. All right. So what type of changes do beneficiaries make during the annual election period? Well, again, they can make changes. For instance, at prime time, we offer four Medicare Advantage plans. One of our plans has a, a premium for 2025 of $99. One of our plans has a premium of 45, and we have a zero premium plan. And so members may decide that the benefits in one plan or the other better suits their needs. And so during that time, they can make a change to one of those other plans if they feel that plan fits their needs. And again, as I mentioned earlier, they can also look at other plans in the community to see if there is a plan that fits them best. We happen to think our plan is the best one in the community. All right, so we all get busy. Things get, you know, 
commotion, whatnot. What happens if somebody misses this time frame during the annual election period? Yeah, well, um, when it ends on December 7th, you're, you're locked in for January 1. But again, on January 1, another election period opens up. Now, the October 15th to December 7th is called AEP or the annual election period. On January 1, the OEP, government loves acronyms, open enrollment period begins <clears throat> from January 1 through March 31. And at that time, Medicare Advantage members can switch to another Medicare Advantage plan with or without prescription drug coverage. They can actually disenroll from their Medicare Advantage plan and go <clears throat> back to original Medicare and enroll into a Part D plan. So those are the things that they can do. But after <clears throat> March 31st, they are locked into that plan until the next annual election period. Hmm. If you wow. are in a Medicare supplement plan, you really don't have any opportunity to change plans after the December 7th period. So I think later on we'll have a little discussion about Medicare supplement versus Medicare Advantage. They're two distinctly different things and the government treats them differently in terms of the opportunity to change. Okay, so if somebody's perfectly happy and pleased with their current coverage, do they need to do anything? They don't need to do a thing, Brad. If they are happy, they will automatically be enrolled. If they don't do anything during AEP to change their coverage, they will act automatically on January 1, be enrolled in that same plan with that same carrier on January 1. So it's pretty convenient. If you look at the changes and you're happy and you think you have the right plan for you, you don't have to do a thing during this election period except throw the junk out that you get in your mailbox. All right, so maybe just a point of hmm. pausing and thinking for a moment. Change seems to be constant in every aspect of our lives, no matter what it is. So you may be perfectly happy with your plan, but can we touch on why it's important to review what options your plan has and maybe just be aware of how that plan could maybe change for next year? Because even if you stick with the same plan, there's a possibility there could be changes, right? Absolutely. Great, great question. And we really emphasize that members need to look at their plan and see what those changes are. Premiums can change, and that's the monthly amount that you pay for your Medicare Advantage plan. Your co-insurance or co-pays could change annually beginning on January 1, 2025. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're aware of those changes. And I would say most importantly, you want to look at your pharmacy plan because those things can change. The co-pays on the pharmacy plan change. They usually do change. The tiering, where what drug tier your drug is in can change. So members should do their homework and look at all those changes to see how they impact what it's going to cost them in the coming year so that they know what's going on. Some plans change their dental and vision benefits. They increase or decrease allowances. Over-the-counter benefits have become very popular on Medicare Advantage plans, and those can change as well. So it's important that members look at their plan, see what's changing, and see if those changes fit their needs. Okay, so there there are different types of Medicare plans out there. Can you explain the difference between a Medicare supplement plan versus a Medicare Advantage plan? Okay, that's a great question, Paul. That's a that's a hard one, but I will I will make an attempt to uh, <laughs> describe the difference. So when you have when you become eligible for Medicare, you sign up for Medicare Parts A and B. A is hospital benefits, B is doctor, outpatient, those various benefits. 
if you only have original Medicare, you have lots of co-pays and out-of-pockets. There is no out-of-pocket maximum on original Medicare. So people sometimes buy what's called a Medicare supplement. And that is exactly what it is. It supplements your original Medicare coverage. And when it supplements your original Medicare coverage, it covers those copays. A Medicare Advantage plan replaces original Medicare and it provides copays for services and it contains an out of pocket max. Um, are there various copays in the same plan? Yes, yes. For instance, like um, when you go see your primary care, most plans have a zero copay. But if you go pay, see a specialist, you might have a $30 copay, a $35 copay, a $40 copay. If you um, go in the hospital, there's usually a copay involved in a Medicare Advantage plan. When you have original Medicare and a supplement, that usually takes care of any of those additional expenses. So you pay a premium instead of paying a copay. Okay, Mike, time for our first break. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now, here's your host, Paul White. Welcome back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Friends, just a reminder to stop by the pharmacy and talk to a pharmacist about our Health Matters Membership Savings program. We want to help you stay well and save money too. So Mike, what is the advantage? What is the benefit of having an advantage plan over original Medicare A and B? Well, as I mentioned earlier, Paul, there are no maximum out-of-pockets in original Medicare. So one of the real advantages of a Medicare Advantage plan is they typically have a cap on how much money you can spend on your medical benefits in a given year. In addition, there are no extra benefits, if you will, on original Medicare. It basically covers your typical doctor and hospital expenses. Whereas in a Medicare Advantage plan, um, they typically provide dental coverage up to an annual dollar amount maximum. They cover vision benefits with perhaps an opportunity to buy a pair of glasses. Earlier, I mentioned the over-the-counter benefit. This has become a really popular benefit with um, Medicare Advantage plans, and they allow members to cover things like if they take vitamin D or they take a multivitamin. Uh, there are so many different things that an over-the-counter benefit can provide. And actually for prime time in 2025, there's going to be some coverage for um, healthy benefits from the grocery store, like produce and meat and dairy. So we're really expanding these things to make sure that members have the availability of a lot of different things that uh, Medicare Parts A and B do not, do not cover. So what is the disadvantage of having MA over original Medicare A and B? Well, I think the biggest disadvantage to having a Medicare Advantage plan is that if you are on original Medicare, you can see any doctor and go to any hospital in the country that accepts Medicare. That is a caveat. If, if that doctor or hospital accepts Medicare, they must see you as a member of original Medicare A and B. In a Medicare Advantage plan, there are two types of Medicare Advantage plans typically. There's PPOs, Preferred Provider Organizations, which most of our listeners should be familiar with because when they were employed and working, their plan probably was a PPO, where if they went to an out-of-network 
doctor, they would pay more. So in a PPO uh, for Medicare Advantage, the same thing applies. The other um, form of coverage is an HMO, Health Maintenance Organization. And that is what Primetime has, is a health maintenance organization where you have to see our doctors and uh, go to our hospitals to have coverage unless you get permission from the plan to go elsewhere. So the big difference is you can go to any doctor or hospital on Original Medicare. You're limited by the benefit designs in PPO and HMO. Now, there is another feature of our HMO called a POS, and that's place of service. And what that does is that allows our members to go to any um, dentist or any vision provider without a network. We don't have a network for those providers. So that is the big difference between original Medicare and Medicare Advantage. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so if you have a particular doctor you want to see and they're not in the Advantage plan that you have, are there what are your options? Well, if there is a doctor that you need to see, um, you can go through a, an authorization program through our utilization management. And if we don't provide that service in the network, you would get a prior authorization and that would allow you to go someplace else besides our network. But again, one of the things we like to point out about Primetime is that we have almost 50 hospitals and a wide selection of doctors in our network. We have all the Cleveland Clinic doctors and hospitals in our network, including Mercy. We have all university hospitals, doctors, and hospitals in our network. So even though it's an HMO, we have a very broad network that meets the needs of our members on a regular basis. Okay, let's say, uh, you know, we have a lot of customers at the pharmacy that go south for the winter for warm weather. What happens if you're on vacation or you winter somewhere else and you have an Advantage plan, are you covered? You are covered for emergency and urgent care. Uh, some Medicare Advantage plans actually have snowbird benefits. That's something you would want to research. If you're going to be in Florida for the winter, you want to make sure that your Medicare Advantage plan provides you some coverage. Uh, Primetime has some Cleveland Clinic locations in Florida. Uh, we also have... Um, the ability for you, if, if you have a medical emergency, you're covered as if you were in Stark County and walked into Altman Hospital. So there are benefits, but they're not as broad as if you were actually in Stark County. Okay, so not to, you know, push it too much, but so what if you go to the hospital and it's out of network hospital, what, what happens? Like, what if you don't know? You know, what if you just have a situation, like you said? Well, if it's a life-threatening situation, I use the example, let's say you're in Florida and you're having chest pains and you go to the hospital and they do a heart cath immediately and they say, you need emergency bypass surgery. That life-threatening situation is covered in Florida at the same benefit level as if you walked into Altman Hospital and you had that same situation. So there is uh, there is coverage for life-threatening situations. Okay. Okay, so once you join an Advantage plan, I think we know the answer to this based on your previous answers, but am I stuck with this coverage forever? Well, you're not stuck with this coverage forever because first of all, you can change every year. We've talked a lot about the uh, annual election period from 1015 to December 7th. So every year you have the opportunity to change. You also have that uh, um, OEP period from January 1 to March 31st to change. So those are the two opportunities uh, that you have to change your plan if in fact you get into a plan and you decide you don't like it. And I think that OEP period is pretty important 
and, and gives people a little comfort because if you change plans and in January or February, you decide, wow, this plan isn't what I thought it was going to be. You have until March 31st to make a change. So that does provide some comfort to people as they wonder, should I change? Is this going to be the right plan for me? Am I making a good decision? Well, what is prescription part D as far as Medicare goes? Well, um, yeah, in 2003, you know, when original Medicare existed and Medicare Advantage was created in 1997, there was no prescription drug coverage for Medicare recipients. In 2003, the Bush administration passed Medicare Part D, and it went into effect in 2006. And what it provides is coverage for prescription drugs for all Medicare recipients. But it is a voluntary plan. They have to opt into a Part D plan or buy a Medicare Advantage plan that uh, contains Part D. And basically it provides coverage, a broad coverage with outlines on what the member plan can charge for those, those covered drugs. And it is significant advantage to Medicare recipients. And we'll talk more about this a little later, but for 2025, the government has also introduced a $2,000 max out of pocket for covered prescription drugs in Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D plans. So this is going to be a wonderful thing for members who have really been burdened by expensive drugs, the donut hole, and all that good stuff. Okay. It is the bottom of the hour and time for the news. Thanks for joining us this morning on Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Okay, you are listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I'm your host and pharmacist, Paul White. This morning, we are talking to Mike Novelli with AltCare. So we were talking about prescription uh, Part D of Medicare. What does it mean to find your medication on a formulary? Okay, Paul, that's a great question. It's really important for your listeners to understand uh, what it means that there is a formulary. All insurance companies that offer Medicare Advantage plans with prescription drugs have something called a formulary. And that formulary places drugs into tiers. For prime time, we have five tiers. Tier one medications are usually generics, preferred generics for us. Tier two is just generics, non-preferred generics. Tier three is for preferred brand drugs. Tier four is for other brand drugs and other sometimes not preferred generics. And then the fifth tier for us is our specialty tier. Why is that important for our listeners? Because the co-pays are directly related to what tier the medication appears in. Typically, in most Medicare Advantage plans, Tier 1 prescription drugs are a zero copay. Tier 2 usually has some kind of copay associated with it. And as you get into brand and non-preferred drugs and specialty, you either pay a fixed copay or co-insurance on those drugs. So why is that important? Because sometimes drugs change what tier they're in. So again, when our listeners are looking at their Medicare Advantage plan, they need to verify what tier their drugs are in so that they can figure out what the copays are. And as they start to compare plans by knowing what tier their drugs are in, they can look at different Medicare Advantage plans and determine what their out-of-pocket costs are going to be. And that is really, really important for people. Okay. <laughs> Are drug tiers the same no matter what insurance you have? They are not. And again, that's why it's important. Uh, one example might be uh, lisinopril, which is a common uh, blood pressure medication prescribed. 
one plan might be a tier one with a zero copay, and another plan might be a tier two with a six, eight, ten dollar copay. So again, using those as examples, every insurance company has to cover two medications in each classification, like blood pressure medication. Mm -hmm. But but there are probably you would know better than me. There are probably twenty blood pressure medications, right? Now, I might be off there, but no, there there's, are, a million, there's a million of them. It's crazy. There, yeah, there's a million of them. Okay, so uh, in, insurance companies are only required to cover two out of those millions of blood pressure medications. Now, many times in very common medications like blood pressure, uh, plans cover more than two. But it's important as you look at your plan that if you're taking a medication, you want to make sure that it's covered by your plan. So that's just really, really important. Uh, the insurance companies determine the tiers. They set the drugs in those tiers and they don't have to be the same. Prime time is not the same as Anthem or United Healthcare. There are variations. So that's why it's important for your listeners to look at their plan, understand where their tiers are and know their copays. Can the, can the Medicare... Uh... Part D of any of the insurance, can they change the formulary in the middle of the year? No, those are fixed for the period. We actually, uh, one thing Medicare makes plans do is they make things happen way far in advance. And on June 4th, 1st, 2024, we submitted our formulary to Medicare and all Medicare Advantage plans have that same timeline, and then they're fixed for the plan year. Now, you could get some new drugs added to the formulary, sure. but but basically, um, the formulary is fixed for the 12 months of the Medicare Advantage period, January 1 to December 31st. Very interesting. All right, so let's talk about a term that gets thrown around a lot, especially this time of year since it's October, um, the donut hole. So can you talk about the donut hole in Part D and what is it what, what is it, and what kind of patient falls into the donut hole in any given year? Well, when um, Part D was originally passed, as I mentioned earlier in 2003, it provided coverage up to a certain point where co-pays would apply and members would pay those co-pays. But if you had a lot of expensive drugs, you would reach a point where you would not get coverage through your plan and you would have to pay extra amounts more than your original co-pay in the so-called donut hole. And then if you went through the donut hole, you spent so much money, then you would get into this catastrophic coverage phase and this was the way Part D was originally designed. Well, as we all know and experience, the cost of medications continues to rise and continues to rise. And this has become a real um, issue for seniors not being able to afford their drugs. I even heard your commercial mm -hmm. about helping seniors or helping people afford their drugs uh, because they're not covered or you know they're too expensive. Well, last um, with the Inflation Reduction Act in 2022, the government made a decision and passed a law that limits the amount of expenses seniors will pay for prescription drugs. And I think this is a wonderful thing. $2,000 cap annually for prescription drugs that are covered on your Part D plan going forward in 2025. As part of this Inflation Reduction Act, you may be hearing about this, the government is now negotiating drug prices. They're using the savings that they're negotiating drug prices to apply towards these $2,000 cap so that individuals no longer have to worry about having to pay $1,000 a month for a prescription for 12 months. They'll pay it for two months, basically, and then they'll be at 100% and the insurance company will cover the expense of that drug. It's really, really a wonderful thing. 
And, you know, every month members in a Medicare Advantage plan get an explanation of benefits that shows them how much they've spent on drugs. Seniors now should be looking at what their 2024 expenses have been by month, and they can see if they will be um, benefit from that $2,000 cap. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I had this question in the pharmacy just yesterday. Um, and, and I wondered if you could give some general examples of coverage on original Medicare versus what a Medicare Advantage plan like Primetime Health Plan, HMOPOS, would be like. Okay. Um, again, with original Medicare, the important thing to know is there are deductibles and coinsurance, and there are no maximum out-of-pockets. You never reach a point in original Medicare where the government pays 100% of your expenses. And I'll, I'll just give you some examples. If you go into the hospital, you have a $1,600 deductible as soon as you go in the hospital, and that covers the first 60 days of a hospital confinement. After that, it's $400 a day that you would pay. So if you, God forbid, were in the hospital for uh, 75 days, you would have a tremendous bill once you got out, once Medicare paid. And every 60 days that resets. So if you ended up going into the hospital uh, two or three times in a year, you would have these same expenses occur two or three times. On a Medicare Advantage plan, I'll just give you like our zero premium plan, you would pay $310 for the first six days you are in the hospital. So that's, if my math is right, that's $1,860. And if whether you were in six days or 90 days, that is how much you would pay. And the other thing that's good about a Medicare Advantage plan that $1,860 tracks towards a maximum out-of-pocket. In the case of our zero premium plan, that max out-of-pocket is $4,300. So you would never get into a situation where you would spend more than $4,300 in a calendar year on our Medicare Advantage plans. If you talk about physician services, outpatient services, on original Medicare, the um, you have a deductible that you have to pay, and then you pay 20% of the costs ongoing throughout the year. And the deductible this year is $247. They haven't announced the change yet for 2025, but you'd pay that first deductible, and then you'd pay 20% on those services if you go to the doctor. On our plans, our our co-pays for our PCPs are a zero dollar copay, but then there are services that range from copays vary, but again, all of those copays track towards that max out of pocket in a given year. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. <You're> pretty simple, <laughs> huh, Paul? Oh yeah. I just <laughs> I just love it. Lots of numbers. Yeah. Okay, it is time for our final break. You're listening to, listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Welcome back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I am your pharmacist, Paul White, pharmacist Brad White, and I thank you for joining us. Let's get back to the final segment of the show. All right, Mike, can you give us some other benefits of primetime health plan, HMO, POS, that you don't get with original Medicare? Sure, Brad. But before I do that, I just want to circle back to that last question um, and just give you a little bit more information. We also have a plan for some people that's a zero plan that does not have prescription drug coverage. Why would you buy a plan without prescription drug coverage? Well, some veterans get all of their medications through the Veterans yes. Administration, or they have an employer plan that provides retiree prescription drug benefits. So you can buy a Medicare Advantage plan without prescription drugs. The only caveat that I will throw out there is if you don't have a way to get prescription drugs, you need to buy a plan that includes prescription drugs 
because if you go without prescription drug coverage mm -hmm. in your Medicare Advantage plan and later on decide to add prescription drug coverage, you could be subject to a penalty from the federal government. So we don't want anybody to incur that penalty. Okay, let's talk about your question. What are some of the benefits that uh, Prime Times Medicare Advantage plans have that um, original Medicare doesn't have? Well, for first of all, we have a zero premium ultimate plan that's an HMO POS that you don't pay any premium for and you get lots and lots of benefits. For instance, in 2025, you have a dental benefit of $900 on our zero premium plan. You pay nothing for the plan. And if you go to any dentist, we will reimburse you up to $900 in a calendar year for any dental benefit or dental uh, expenses that you incur. So that's a huge benefit. We have a vision benefit where you pay zero to get your eye exam and we will provide up to $300 a year and you can go to any vision provider that's part of that POS benefit under an HMO. You can go to any provider and you send us the bill for your glasses and we will reimburse you up to $300. Another mm -hmm. benefit that we have is a zero cost gym membership through our silver and fit program. Most mm -hmm. of the facilities in Stark and the surrounding counties participate in our silver and fit benefit. And it allows our seniors to go to these fitness centers like the YMCA and have a free membership as part of their plan. And remember, it's a zero premium plan. So they're getting, they're saving memberships to the, the local uh, fitness facilities. They're getting $300 in vision benefits. They're getting a $900 dental benefit. So there really are a tremendous number of benefits. The other thing that we have for 2025 is the over-the-counter benefit. And I mentioned this earlier. And that over-the-counter benefit for our zero plan in 2025 is $100 per quarter. And the way that works is on January 1, uh, members, they get a, um, a debit card that has $100 on it, loaded onto it. They can use it to buy vitamins, all kinds of different things over the counter. They can even use it for certain healthy benefits at the grocery store, but they have to use that $100 by March 31st. It's a use it or lose it benefit, if you will. But again, it resets on April 1st and every quarter thereafter, so they get $400 worth of benefits in a calendar year through this OTC benefit that they can use for a lot of different things. Mm. We have another interesting benefit. It's called Papa Pals. And what this is, is this allows members, let's say they have light housekeeping that they can't quite handle. They get 40 hours of benefits through Papa Pals that someone will come in and help them. One of the really interesting benefits that Papa Pals have is if you have a technology need. We all have problems with technology, right? But if you're a senior and you're having a problem with your phone or your computer, um, you can actually have Papa Pals come in and assist you to help you fix that. Papa Pals will also provide transportation to medical appointments for you if you need a ride to the doctor and you can't get there, they will provide that benefit. So these are some really uh, targeted Jeez. benefits to help members improve their health, maintain their health, whether it's buying things that they need that they can't afford or getting services like fitness services or Papa Pals to meet their needs on a regular basis. Hmm. The let, that, that's really a, a good summary of all of the benefits that we have that are over and above what original Medicare provides. Can you give a good reason why someone might switch from a Medicare supplement plan to Medicare Advantage plan? Well, it, it really, it, it 
the biggest reason someone would switch from a Medicare supplement to a Medicare Advantage plan is the premium cost. Um, and as you get older, when you're 65, uh, a Medicare supplement plan is reasonably cheap, around $100. But as you start to age, your premium goes up every year based on your age. So there are, we have had people walk into our office that are paying $200, $250 a month for a Medicare supplement plan that is a great plan. It provides coverage, as we talked about, um, very thorough coverage for coverage that Medicare A and B doesn't provide. But the premium cost becomes exorbitant. They could switch to our uh, Medicare Advantage plan, zero premium, and right out of the gate, if you're spending $200 a month, you got $2,400 you're saving that you can utilize towards your doctor and hospital expenses. Plus, our zero plan also includes prescription drugs and people with Medicare supplements have a standalone Part D plan that they might be paying a premium for. So it, it really wraps it all up into one, provides a zero premium and saves them all of that premium dollars that they can save for future expenses. So, Mike, how can our listeners obtain more information on the plan's primetime health plan HMO, POS, and primetime ha have to offer? Well, for more information, they can contact primetime health plan at 330-363-7407, or they can call 800-577-5084. TTY users should call 711 for more information. Our call center is open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. from October 1st through March 31st. The call center is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, you can also visit our website at www.pthp.com and we request a brochure. We're also off open for walk-ins or schedule an appointment Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. We have a great staff that will service and answer questions that people have, whether it's at an initial sale to come in and talk about our plans. But the other thing that makes it convenient for seniors is if they get a, a bill that they don't understand, they can either call our service center or come into our office and we'll sit down and explain to people exactly what's going on. So these are things that are really good. And they're local. Oh, everybody's local. right here, right? That's exactly. Right. Yeah. Yep. So how can I go. sign up for prime time help on HMPPOS? Well, there are a couple of ways to sign up. First of all, you can sign up online if you're tech savvy and you want to. You can okay. go to pthp.com and we have an online enrollment. You can submit a paper form. If you call our office, we'll mail you an application and information about our plan and you can fill that out. And there's a there's an envelope in that application that's already pre-stamped. So you just put that application into that envelope mm -hmm. and send it back to us. You can drop off an enrollment form to our offices at 2600 6th Street Southwest. You can work with an agent or a broker that okay. offers primetime health plan and they can sign you up. And you can also enroll by phone. If you want to do a, a phone enrollment and you want to call our office, we will go through the process of enrolling you online. So there are just many, many ways for you to join primetime health plan and we think that our plan really offers our community. As you mentioned, Paul, mm -hmm. we're local. We're here for our community. Our local mm -hmm. community are the employees that work at prime time. And we'd love to help people find the best plan for them. Any final words, Mike? I just think that um, I encourage people to look at what their options are. Look at this new prescription drug benefit because that $2,000 cap can really save members. 
make sure the plan you're on fits your needs. And I think if you come in and sit down and talk to our sales staff and you want to really understand what Primetime has to offer, you'll have a great experience. Okay, Mike, thanks very much. If you suspect you have a medical issue, please contact your health care provider. Thanks to Altman Health System and listeners for joining us on Health Matters with the Medicine Center for Army. Thank you so much, Mike. It's always a good program when you come on uh, and always helps the seniors greatly. Thank you, so, Paul and Brett. Appreciate you having me. Take care. Thanks, have Mike. a good day. You too. Thank you.